What are the best electronic side cutters you've used in terms of long life? Uh, wow. Lindstrom. Where the hell are my expensive... I've got a real expensive pair of Lindstroms somewhere. Yeah, Lindstroms. Made in Sweden. Is it going to focus? It's supposed to have that new camera that has the new focus thing. But, nah. Anyway, um, Lindstrom. Made in um, Sweden. They're, they're probably... Uh, these are... These are 20 plus years. There's the, these are at least 20 years old, maybe 25 years old. These are like, and I've cut some serious shit with these. And wow, Lindstrom's amazing. Ah, uh, but they're really expensive. They're super expensive. Like you might pay like, you know, a hundred bucks or something for a pair of Lindstrom cutters. They're crazy. Um, what else have I got? Oh, that, that's a no-namer. Um, I've, I've, I've got good ones like the Lindstrom's and I've got no namers for just cutting, um, shit, you know, and, um, yeah, that one's just broken off. That one's got a, I don't know if you can see the nib on that one. That's broken off. They're a bunch of no namers. Um, I've got, um, Ecotronics ones. They're all right. I've got, um, Heiko ones somewhere. The, the, the Heiko ones are good value. Um, they're like, I think you can get the Heiko side cut, uh, the Heiko flush cutters for like eight bucks or something, or 10 bucks or something. They're, they're, they're pretty good value. I would say probably if, if you can get them. Um, none of your side cutters last six months, really, X-Jet? They usually lost under the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised I haven't lost my good Lindstroms. Really, Mike's found that Lindstroms don't last well. My CK, CK, uh, CK is another top brand, yeah. Heiko ones are the best, and, and there's there's another vote for Heiko ones. Yeah, yeah, the Heiko ones are great. I've got a pair here. I don't know. I thought I had it here, but oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's right under my elbow. Oh no, they're the um they're the Exolite ones. They're the Exolite ones. They're not that. They're not that great. I <laughs> like the top. You can probably see through it. Yeah, yeah, you can see through it. Yeah. Um, no, but the Heiko ones are good. I don't know where my Heiko ones are gone. I might have them at home, you know, or in a portable kit somewhere. Yeah, the, uh, Heiko, so, so right here, like, you know, I've got, I've got five just to hand, right? I've got them lying all throughout the lab, right? It's crazy. So, um, yeah. But no, I definitely have a good pair, but yeah, I'd, I'd probably say, go, go and check the, can someone give me a price check? Price check, price check on Heiko flush side cutters. And then you also want, um, hang on, another top brand, Nipex. Nipex, I'd recommend getting these, like get, get bigger ones. Um, like these, these aren't flush. These aren't flush cutters, but these are better for just like hacking stuff to bits, right? Um, so yeah, Nipex make really, I don't think I've ever had a Nipex. Do they make like flush cutters? Don't know, but um, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, highly, like, you know, get get a big, sturdy pair for, like, your really hacking mechanical stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, Mike agrees. Yeah, yeah. For the bigger cutters, Nipex is the go. So I'm going to put them back, otherwise they're going to get lost. Hey, oh, Heiko, we have a price check on the Heikos. Look to be 8 to 15 US dollars on Amazon. Yeah, just just get the Heiko ones. They're, they're perfectly fine. They do a good job. Uh, do, do Heiko make the different types? Uh, do they make the flush and the non-flush cutters? I don't know. I haven't looked in. Yeah, but Heiko, like, yeah, I don't, I assume they're made in Japan. I, I assume. So I don't know if Heiko make them themselves or whether or not they subcontract them out, but they're Heiko branded. And they're, they're just pretty, I, I think they're probably the best value, um, you know, sort of cheap ones. Because you'll pay 10 times that for a Lindstrom, I think. <laughs> so, you know, look, is it worth getting, you know, five, five Heikos or is it worth getting one Lindstrom? Well, I'd rather have five Heikos, I think. But my, in my experience, the Lindstrom, maybe Lindstrom don't make them like they used to. Maybe. I don't know. But mine are, I, I think mine are at least 25 years old. Why would you want non-flush electronics um, sized cutters? Because, um when you're doing cutting uh, uh, lead uh, through hole leads you don't cut into the um solder joint but then again you can just do a distance thing but you know some some people just prefer the non-flush but yeah flushes 
you know, <clears throat> flush is the go. Heiko also makes large flush cutters. Okay, right. It'd be interesting to do like a shootout video, <laughs> but you know, I like you'd have to like destroy them, <laughs> you know. To, yeah, Heiko cutters are made in Italy, are they? Wow, there you go. That's interesting. But yeah, I I find that yeah they hold up to abuse really well and they're cheap. I I think they're probably like the go unless someone can come up with a better go to brand for for like eight bucks a pair or whatever eight ten bucks. Yeah. Go the Hikos. <laughs> yes, it is proven that expensive cutters last twice as long because you don't use them as much because it's your good pair. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Oh, yes, yes, I was about to mention the uh, Stink. Yes, the Exolite Toolkit. I've still got one of those. Oh, my God. Oh, the, what is it? The, it's it's a Sio Anitate, Sio Acetate or something. What What is the, what is the chemical used in them? I think it's some sort of acetate material. Yes, Exolite tools. Yes, the Exolite screwdriver toolkits have a unique smell to them. Oh, oh, some people love it. Some people hate it. But yep, yep. Famously, the the Exolite. So do they still smell like that? Because they've got us. They use a specific type of plastic in their handle. 